uh, we would like to talk about the, the edge cloud computing uh, from our approach. This is my colleague, uh, Joe. So we are going to uh, briefly talk about uh, what we have done and uh, what we can help the open source community and what we hope we can work together with open source community to move this forward. So first, let's talk about why we want to talk about this uh, edge cloud computing. So basically, uh, from early age, so initially we only have a big computer, so we have a centralized data center. Then we move to the early 80s, 1980s, does a PC become popular? So a lot of a powerful client, so computation go to decentralized. Then uh, from the 90s to early 2000, cloud computing is more and more popular, and now it's mainstream. So we can do a lot of a complex computation, the big data, and the cost effective to move this computation in the cloud, centralized position. Then, but now the world, because of the, we concern about the latency, and the bandwidth is concerned, so we say we want to move a lot of the computation to the edge if possible, so we can achieve a more efficient <coughs> way. So let's talk about, uh, in our mind, what the edge can do. So uh, we want to compute at the near side, so we can do uh, stream processing, image processing. For example, when uh, you upload an image from your cell phone to the cloud, so we can, in the, uh, our pop side, in our cloud <coughs> connection side, we can do uh, auto reside image to have uh, multiple image get ready for you. And also we can do video processing, for example, in the uh, security surveillance. So we, can, we cannot uh, upload uh, the old original raw image, uh, the video back to the data center to, because the bandwidth restriction, but we can do the processing on the edge side, and then we only have a critical information transfer back to the cloud. And there's other industrial IoT uh, scenarios, uh, so we, from the time side, we don't, to elaborate that, but we can do a lot of things to cooperate between the edge side and the cloud to achieve the latency and the bandwidth, save it, to save the bandwidth. Here is our uh, initial design of our POC infrastructure for our edge cloud. So we uh, basically uh, have a cloud infrastructure layer. Then based on that, we build our, uh, we, we can call it the edge cloud computing pass platform. So we have uh, this based on the Kubernetes. So in the cloud side, we have a Kubernetes master and we put all these workers or the client node in the remote side. So with the, this way, so uh, I put a, a line there, there's a firewall, so that's the major, major difference from the uh, data center deployment and our edge deployment because we put our old worker in the remote side out of our firewall, so that's a security concern and the communication and networking connection, there's a lot of details. Uh, Joe will talk about that in more detail. <coughs> So here is our uh, real setup, the POC. So basically we want to simulate, we use our public cloud to simulate our cloud setup. And we have uh, set up a few nodes in the remote side. So this client to the cloud, we connect through the internet. So uh, let, let's welcome Joe to show a live demo about this okay. uh, POC. Okay, I will show you our uh, live demo. <laughs> yeah, we have uh, the website for edge computing, and we have two uh, edge computing application. One is to decide the picture at uh, edge node. The other one is to run Python script at the edge node. Uh, we can see that uh, we have uh, the node in two nodes uh, in Huawei lab, and one node in the cloud. The cloud is the master. Yeah. And uh, we will first uh, decide the picture in the uh, edge node. 
you can select uh, the picture, just uh, take uh, here. And then I, we can select the one edge node to reset the picture. Yes, and there are two smaller ones has been decided by the edge node. And we can also run the Python script in edge node. I prepared one uh, script. We can, uh, we can select one edge node, for example, 204. Okay, this one is uh, the job uh, executed in Edge Node. This one, yeah. So you can run Python script uh, at any Edge Node. And uh, you can also um, to monitor and log in the Edge Node. Yes, all this can be done uh, in the cloud. All data collected at the edge node and uh, sent to the cloud. And uh, you can also uh, check the login data. Yeah, this is the uh, login data collected from the edge node. And then you can track uh, the job just uh, finished at uh, Edge Node. Yeah. Here, a uh, learning Python and uh, picture designs. Uh, there's still something to do for uh, Edge Computing Service in cloud. For example, for multi-tenancy integration with the uh, OpenStack Keystone and enhance the node security uh, control. And uh, most of, massive uh, node certificate management and so on. There are a lot of things to do. And uh, I think uh, the most important one to provide uh, multi-tenancy, we can integrate it with uh, OpenStack Keystone, store the uh, uh, webhook. Uh, another way is use uh, custom model, but this one is not so good. And uh, we also need to enhance the node level uh, security control. Every node can only see its own resources and can only access its own resources. Okay, thank you. <laughs>